Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Let me introduce to you the rocket that is going to grab a Class A asteroid uh, for one of our contracts. So all we got to do is grab this asteroid and then put our vessel back in orbit of Kerbin. Not a specific orbit, just a orbit. Now, I've never actually grabbed a asteroid before on this on this game. So I was a bit unsure, So, but anyway, I found it, and I found that it was going to have a, an encounter with Kerbin. So basically what I did was, flew out to the solar system, got in an orbit around the sun, and then um, it's basically like when you want to rendezvous two vehicles and dock them together. You just need to get as close as you can. Uh, I'm kind of explaining this like you don't know, but a lot of you are better at this than me anyway, but... This is what I found, uh, just kind of talking cathartically here, trying to clear it up for myself, basically. So, essentially, I just need to rendezvous and try to get as close as I could. Now, I have sped up the video, um, because if I don't, then it just, it took about 30 minutes, and I, I think that's kind of a bit boring just to watch that long. So, as usual, for my series of Kerbal Space Program career mode videos, I am speeding it up. Now, I managed to continually adjust my trajectory towards this asteroid um, as I got closer. It took quite a bit of tinkering. You can see I'm, I'm so close to it though. I'm probably yeah, within sort of a, a few thousand kilometers of it, but that's not close enough. You want to get even closer. So I'm checking around me to see if I can actually see it, but no, I couldn't, couldn't see the asteroid. Still too far away. Uh, little did I realize it is absolutely tiny. I didn't know it would be this small, so... Here we go, just trying to correct my maneuver, getting as close as we can. So I've managed to get sort of 333 kilometers away here and continually adjusting it, see if I can get any closer. But uh, it's not particularly easy. I actually found this more difficult than, than docking. Perhaps, I, I don't know what reason there is for that, but I just did. Found it more difficult, but um, either way, I needed to get an approach. And I've never used this advanced grabbing unit either. I, I didn't quite know how to do that. I didn't quite know what was expected of my rocket, how big my rocket needed to be um, in order to be able to maneuver this thing. And, and I did actually forget to put a um, sort of a control unit on my rocket. So I was a little bit stuck trying to steer the thing. But here we are again, continually as I move closer to the asteroid, I found that I could continually tweak my little, my approach, my maneuver towards it. And then... Uh, get even closer. So here I'm within 172.4 kilometers, which, you know, quite good. But I wanted to see if I could get it even closer. I didn't quite, I mean, I, I still don't know. If anyone does know, feel free to advise me. I don't know kind of what the ideal um, distance separation is that you want to be aiming for. So I managed to get it down to like 70 something. And I thought, okay, that's probably close enough. I can... I can do little burns, you know, to uh, using the nav ball, burn towards the little pink icon, and then burn retrograde to try and, you know, decelerate and uh, get rid of any um, delta V change that might be apparent between me and the asteroid. But, uh, yeah, it was quite tricky. Now, the, this particular asteroid would have actually gotten an encounter with Kerbin, um, but I understand it's probably easier i tried to do a bit of googling it's probably easier to try and grab the asteroid while it's in orbit of the sun because uh once it's in an, on an encounter with kerbin then it's going to experience a lot of acceleration and deceleration whereas here it's actually kind of a constant speed you know as it's orbiting the sun so yet again i'm having to adjust my velocity uh, adjust my maneuver to try and get even closer I have sped it up two times for your convenience. I'm like, I thought maybe if I could get within sort of 10 kilometers, that's probably ideal. I did a stream once where people suggested that's kind of good. If you can get within 10, then it's easier to do the encounter uh, without using this screen. You know, when you're actually in, you can see the rocket. So I wanted to aim for that, but I thought, well, 15.7, that's not bad, is it? I was quite happy with that. And uh, if, like I say, if any of you have got any tips on how to actually do this, I would love to hear from you because I suspect some of the f later contracts, they're going to ask me to uh, tackle bigger asteroids 
I mean, what kind of stuff shall I put on the rocket? Do I need RCS thrusters? I haven't got any of that on here. Like I said, I haven't even got the uh, the module that enables you to control the rocket in particular. I'm kind of just using um, <laughs> some sort of weird momentum <laughs> maneuver. I don't know. Uh, so here we are. I'm looking around again for the asteroid, and I found it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm coming to get you. Once I can see it in this screen, then it's a lot easier. I find this this part of the screen, uh, this part of the mission, not particularly difficult. Here I am burning retrograde, trying to reduce some of that target velocity. You can see I've re had to reduce it from near 400. That's the difference in velocity that um, my, my rocket and the asteroid were having. So that's, that's a lot to burn down, and I, I didn't... I mean, I tried to sort of calculate how much Delta V my rocket needed, but it was a lot of trial and error. Um, but this, I actually succeeded on the, the first rocket I built, so I've got quite a good eye for these things. Wasn't any paper calculations or anything done, just all in my head. Um, here we go, so just, here's my approach. I'm 108 meters away, but you can see the size of the asteroid. It's really quite tiny. I don't know how big these Class C asteroids are. I imagine you'd need a beast of a rocket to grab one of those. But for now, we're a low level. And like I said, this is the first time I've ever encountered or grabbed an asteroid. Um, I spent a long time away from Kerbal Space Program from sort of 0 0.22 to its full release. Um, so I never, never ever did the grabbing the asteroid um, mission that was there. Now it's been incorporated into the contracts. So I'm like, yeah, this is cool. Let's do it. Um, here we go, so I'm so close, and I, I don't, I didn't quite know how this arm worked. Is there any way I can fire it out and grab it? I, I thought maybe you sort of dragged it behind you. Didn't have a clue. But I thought, well, the best I can do is try and get as close as I can. And do I make contact with it? Almost there. This claw, you can see it's not very big. How the hell do you grab a Class C asteroid? It must be, what, 10, 100 times bigger than this, maybe. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I've grabbed it, and then I'm like, oh, shit, how the hell do I turn this thing? <laughs> like I said, I had no control mechanism on my rocket whatsoever, but I've kind of got enough experience in the game to manage to use my thrusters of my rocket to to steer it. So there we go. There is our encounter with Kerbin. Now, you can see we're not actually going to be in an orbit of it. That's quite a, a steep angle we're going to be smashing into Kerbin curbing with the uh, asteroid so all I've got to do is change the maneuver maneuver my rocket over the little blue node on the nav ball get to the node in T uh, get to the node and do my burn and you can see I've only got 924 meters per second delta V left um, so yeah I was kind of like oh god if I fail this I'm never going to be able to grab this rocket I'm never going to be able to grab this asteroid, I mean. Now, this is when the problems were really apparent. Like, you can see I can barely control my rocket. Look at the nav ball. I can't get it over that little blue icon. Uh, that's where it probably would have paid off to have RCS thrusters or something on it. Um, but either way, I had enough Delta V to get into the orbit and do the contract that they wanted of me. And I kind of like this asteroid. I think um, there's contracts later on where they want you to build like outposts on these if i'm not mistaken there's no way they're going to be asking me to do that on this i wouldn't mind having a go at trying to bring this back to kerbin though eventually that could be kind of fun maybe that's one of the contracts that come up i don't know um but anyway get to my node in t do my little burn so you can see i'm using the thruster of the rocket to try and steer it and it's not a perfect science and i lost control of it completely here but i am in an orbit and like I said, they didn't ask for a specific orbit. So I've got there. And as long as I maintain stability for 10 seconds, I've done it. And that's pretty much it. That's all they wanted for me on the contract. So thank you for watching. Please join me for the next episode where we're going to complete our space station.